Not every child is made to master every subject. We have this idea that kids need to ace everything, right? You know, you see the bumper stickers, my kid is an honor student. Um, and, and it's always this competition of my kid got straight A's. My kid has a 4.0 GPA. Well, not every child is made to master every subject. I mean, you look at a mathematician, a mathematician is probably not going to be a historian and a scientist as well. Their specialty, the way that God created them is to be excellent at math. And a scientist is created by God to be excellent at science. And a historian is created by God to be excellent at history. And that's the world. That's how the body of Christ works together. That's how we reveal his goodness, right? And his creativity is that he created us all so differently and so uniquely. And we all have different gifts and talents and abilities. And so why do we put so much pressure on our kids to have to ace everything. You have to be an expert at every single one of these subjects and you have to be an athlete and you have to be an artist and you have to be able to play music and you have to do all these things. And we put pressure on our kids, even in the homeschool world. I'm not talking about just, you know, traditional schooled kids. I'm saying in the homeschool world, we do this same thing where we feel like we're somehow messing it up if our kids are not experts at all of the things. And that's so, that's such wrong thinking. You know, we have to look at our kids through the lens of, scripture and through the eyes of God, their creator and see how he created them. And that's one of the greatest benefits of homeschooling is that we get to be students of our children and we don't put them in this perfect box when, you know, they're a round peg trying to fit into this and going, Oh, they don't fit. Why am I frustrated? Why am, why is this homeschooling thing not working? Let's put them back in school into a different box. And it just doesn't make any sense. And so I'm so grateful for the blessings and the benefits of homeschooling, because we get to look at our kids, we get to study them. And as they grow, we get to see who God created them to be so that they can fit into the perfect box that God created them to fit into. And, uh, and I, I just, I think it, it, I know for myself has taken so much weight off just realizing my kids are who they are. They're going to do what God created them to do. And I don't have to put all that pressure on them or on myself. So one of the first things that I remember as a child that kind of gave me this idea that uh, you can be smart in different ways is um, one of my best friends when I was a kid. And I, I don't know why we end up having the friends that we do when we're uh-huh. children, but we would ride bikes around the neighborhood, you know, just a neighbor kid that uh, I grew up with. And he went to public school and his parents always had the bumper sticker. Of, my <laughs> kid is on the honor roll at such and such elementary school and so forth. Always a top student, always top grades. And, and I was not a good academic student. I was homeschooled, but I struggled. I was dyslexic. I was ADHD. I actually didn't learn how to read. I don't don't like brag about this, but I didn't learn how to read till I was like 11. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I mean, I struggled as a student. Yeah. And yet uh, this kid was one of the smartest kids in his class. And I I could never figure that out because I knew him. Like we would go out and do stuff together. And I was always thinking to myself, how could he be the top student in his class? He is as dumb as a bag of rocks. (laughs) You know, like the one time he when we were outside in the wintertime, he decided to go put his stick his tongue to the flagpole oh, no. in the wintertime just to see what would happen. Uh, another time he peed on the electric fence to see what would happen. You know what I mean? No. This kid is not bright. And yet he did really good on tests and he got really good grades. And here I was, this totally stupid kid, you know, from, from the world's viewpoint, sure. right? Because I couldn't read. And it wasn't that I was stupid. I was just dyslexic. Yeah. And um, it didn't get identified, uh, you know, well uh, early on. And um uh, because I was good at faking it. Anyway, long story there. But, uh, but, but you know, as, as you grow up, you start to see that um, there's just different kinds of intelligences, right? Yeah. And some people can be super smart uh, in an area. I have a friend who is a PhD, and that guy can't find anything, you know, just loses his keys constantly. You know, he'll, he'll walk out of a store, and he doesn't know where his car is, you know, He's like, <laughs> brilliant. In one yeah. area, but yeah. not in another. And, and so that's why I'm saying like this, this comparison that we have to have, like you were saying of, you know, our child has to be like other children. No, they don't. They have to be the best version of themselves that they can be. Homeschool Insights is sponsored by CTC Math. If you're looking for a great online math program, visit ctcmath.com and try it for free. For more great homeschool inspiration and resources, listen to the Schoolhouse Rocked podcast every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 